guys and welcome back to Face Over Matter. It's Jay here and today I am doing a full face of makeup, basing it around pinks and purples just because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and I wanted to kind of dedicate this to the um, survivors and people who may have had it, things like that. This is something that has definitely affected my family. So um, I just felt it was only right to basically dedicate it on my behalf and um, other people as well. So if you are liking the look so far, I just ask that you go ahead and hit subscribe for me and like this video if you enjoyed it and just keep on watching. So what's up guys? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to first off by moisturizing. This is the Ultra Repair Cream. This is actually from a sample I got from Sephora. So for foundation today, I'm going to go in with a oldie but goodie, but this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color 335 in Classic Tan. I'm going to go in with another concealer, this, or a new concealer, this is the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Light Caramel. I've already tried this out before and I must say this is some heavy duty stuff. I'm not going to use a lot because it is very thick, but I like the, I like the coverage of it. It almost has like a peach undertone, so I feel like it'll give me more of a natural finish. But overall it does blend very nicely, I must say for it being such a very thick concealer, it does blend very, very seamlessly. Alright, so after this step, I'm going to go ahead and set it. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but of course it'll come together once we start bronzing and stuff. I am going to take the bottom of the Beauty Blender, which still has a little bit of residue of foundation. So this will definitely help the edges blend. So I'm just going to tap it around the edges, just to kind of bring some color back up into this area, just so it won't look so blotchy. Then I'm going to go right in with setting powder. This is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I feel like this is one of the best inexpensive face powders out there if you don't want to spend you know, a lot of money on a setting powder. I'm just gonna set the entire under eye. But I'm gonna fill in my brows how I usually do. If you are interested in my updated eyebrow tutorial, I will link it down below. Okay, so now that the brows are on, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. I'm gonna first start off by using this Black Radiance pressed bronzer in the shade 8614 cafe use a small elf brush to do this i just want a little bit of chisel and even though this is more of like a warm tone bronzer it still looks a little bit cool tone which is good for um, contouring so i'm going to use this one now i'm going to take the golden almond which is 8603 and just do my regular bronzing routine let's see like i said after bronzing this is going to just pull the actual complexion together so the concealer won't look you know out of place type of thing i'm going to use this blush called xoxo from makeup geek it's a very vibrant bright pink all right now for a highlighter i'm going to take the mary luminizer from the balm and as much highlighter as you like i'm just going to go in so going in with the XOXO blush, I'm just going to start off with that as my transition color. I'm going to pull out, this is a purple shade. This one is called Cherry Cola from Makeup Geek. I'm gonna take Starry Odd from Makeup Geek. This is like a, this is a pink, it's like a purplish undertone, pinky kind of foiled eye. Back in with that Cherry Cola shade. For the waterline, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I'm just going to line my waterline. After that, I'm going to add some mascara. I'm just going to take the... And of course, it's not with me. Of course. I'm just going to take this Black Radiance Bodybuilding Mascara, just because it's handy and I don't feel like getting up. So for my tear duct color, I'm just going to take the Mary Luminizer from the Balm again, just because it's here.
Alright beauty, so this completes this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit subscribe for me if you haven't already. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch y'all in my next video.